What if Sam from Stardew Valley was a yandere, obsessed with us and ready to do whatever it takes to get everyone else out of the way? I got a bottle of knockout drug. Excuse me? Today I'm going to explore the dialogue additions that make Sam a bloodthirsty walking red flag. Do you want me to punish you and slice your tongue off? I love you so much, I could just cut you up and eat you whole. Let's get into it. It's time to go get Sam. I first met Sam when I rudely invaded his family's home, and boy was I in for a wild ride. There he is, in all of his flattened glory. Let me in. Hey, yo. Hey, I'm Sam. Good to meet you. The pleasure is all mine. <laughs> Need help with the, the door, King? I'll get that for you. <gasps> What's wrong? Why are you running? Why are you running? Stop running. Another day of bothering a certain blonde boy. FBI, open up. You've plucked my heartstrings. Sam, I'd pick you. Get it? Like, guitar pick? Oh, hi. It's good to see you again. Take it easy. <sighs> I'm gonna not do that. What do you think about that, Sam, huh? Huh? Let's engage in some intellectual discourse. Come on. I know the hair gel was atrocious, but I feel like you kind of went the opposite way. Oh my god, our first date is so romantic. Just me, you, and this bush you planted between us. Ooh. Ooh, can you smell it outside? I'm wafting it. The scent of pizza will draw him out. Rain muffles sound so I can play my guitar louder without my mom getting mad. <laughs> That's how he laughs. Roger this pizza. Oh yeah, this is my absolute favorite. I love you. Who are you texting? <gasps> Who are you texting? I don't mean to interrupt your brooding in front of the dresser time, but... Oh, what a coincidence. I didn't see you there. The clouds look great this time of year, don't they? You're boring me, Sam. Where's the passion? Oh, so now I'm good enough, friends, to enter your room. Oh, hi, Fish. Sebastian and I were just having a little jam session. Is that what they're calling it? Living on a farm can be dangerous. Don't worry, Fish. I'll protect you. At first, his crush on me was kind of cute. But then it started getting intense. Like, restraining order. Intense. <gasps> I can go in the room! I don't have to sneak in anymore. You see Sam fiddling around with something. It looks like a tiny camera. I thought I hit it so well. Oh, hey, Fish. I'm never too busy for you. What's up? <laughs> I thought you weren't too busy for me. Where are you going? Um, why are you digging in the trash? Uh, I don't know. Uh, why aren't you minding your own business? Got him. Fish! I can always tell when you're here. You always smell wonderful. Also, I came through the front door. And you can see me with your eyes. Sometimes, we don't have to say everything we think out loud. I know, crazy, right? Sam was beginning to show telltale signs of obsession. And even though any sane, smart, intelligent, intuitive, brainy individual would have taken off running by now, I was in it to win it. Or... Die trying. Probably die trying. Hey, um, I saw you talking to other guys a while back. I can just see that they are up to no good. Well, you better stay away from them. If I find out they did anything to you, I'll kill them myself, so don't you worry, fish. You mean, like, metaphorically, like, figuratively, you'll murder them. What's up, cool cats? I watched the mayor putting down those eggs earlier, so I drew you a map. Wanna use it? Uh... I don't really need it, but, you know. You should give it to Abigail. She needs the help. I can just see that all these other guys are dying to dance with you. I almost pity them. 
But you won't ask anyone else other than me, though, would you? You want to be my partner for the flower dance? Okay, I look forward to it. I'll see you on the dance floor, Mama. <laughs> I still don't fit in. At least Sam's head looks like butter. It's good to take a break from work once in a while, Fish. Hey, why don't we spend a day at the beach sometime? Actually, let's stay together till dawn. Guess you caught me staring. Dot dot dot. I'm sure you don't mind, do you? Do you see a single thought behind my eyes? The lights are on, but nobody's home. What are you doing over here with Penny, huh? I got a bottle of knockout drug. Excuse me? <laughs> I got a bottle of knockout drug right here. I stole it from Harvey's clinic. Shh, don't tell him. If I add this to the soup, we'll have some time to ourselves, me and you. Let's have some fun, yeah? I was just joking about that in Elliot's wife. Jolly fish, the seer. It was finally time to make our relationship official. And even though he didn't send me a strongly worded letter begging me to date him like Yandere Elliot, I still gifted him the bouquet. Fish. I saw you staring at Alex earlier. You're not thinking what I think you're thinking, are you? Not unless you're thinking that I'm thinking what you're thinking is what I'm thinking. I think. Hey, listen. I'm the only one you should be looking at. Got that? Happy birthday! <laughs> A birthday gift? That's very kind of you. I love it. Oh, bam! I'll accept this, thank you. I didn't know you felt the same. Fish, we should go on a date one day. Just you and me, alone, by the lake under the moonlight. I don't think I want to go anywhere alone with you at night, bro. It will be romantic. I'll prepare some wine and snacks. You'll love it, I promise. Fish, I'm going to repeat the same thing I just said. It's going to be romantic, even though you've heard it before. The moonlight has got me feeling a certain kind of way, Fish. <laughs> okay, TikTok boy. Wanna come with me to the back of the beach? I can help you relax even more. Oh, I'm pretty relaxed. Uh, I'm actually dead. You got a staring problem, little bud? You have such soft hands for a farmer, Fish. One of the many, many things I love about you. Um, fish? I'm sorry. I keep borrowing things from your house. I just can't help it. Borrowing? That, that implies that you give it back and, um... <laughs> I don't think you do. Your towels especially. Oh! They have such a nice scent. Thanks, it's a uh, Old Spice. There are tourists in town today. You can't let your guard down, Sam. I don't care about all these game booths, Fish. You're all I can think about right now. To be fair, the games really suck also. Time for spooky season. Ooh, he's mentally ill. There's a secluded corner right around there. Wanna go have some fun? No. Actually, I wanna go back to the entrance for that. I want to show people what I'm capable of, and that they can never have you. You can go to jail for that, you know. Though I guess that's probably not your main concern. They should put you in jail for that haircut. <laughs> Got him. The air is getting colder. Would you come a little closer, Fish? It's warm inside my jacket. It's also warm <laughs> over here. <laughs> okay. He's not prepared for my riz. Dot 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 dot. <laughs> what? I like looking at you. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh goodness. I like looking in your trash. 
Unfortunately, becoming his girlfriend did not calm his mind or his behavior. Even though I was technically with him, he wasn't going to be satisfied until it was literally impossible for me to be with anyone else. By murdering them, if that wasn't obvious. I can just tell when guys are having dirty thoughts about you, fish. Makes me want to smash their head in with a mallet. Ooh. Sam seems lost in thought, chuckling every now and then. Better leave him to it. Fish, I love you so much, I could just cut you up and eat you whole. Don't do that. That way, you can live within me forever, right? <laughs> what a funny thought. I think we have very different definitions of the word funny. You want me like I want you, fish? I hope you do. Oh, that'd be so perfect. I kind of wanted what I couldn't have, and now you're getting a little clingy. If you're feeling cold, wanna play catch? Running around a little might warm you up. You run, and I'll try to catch you. Hello, Samuel. Ooh, are you going around talking to everybody again? I need the friendship points. I told you, you don't need to speak with anyone else. Do you want me to punish you and slice your tongue off? Hey Sam, I think you might be overreacting just like a tiny bit. I bet you'd be cute even when you scream in pain. I bet you'd still be ugly. Oh, I think he's looking at me. Hey Fish, I got you lots of presents this year. Have you found them yet? I left them scattered around your farm. <laughs> it's like playing a little game with you. I love it. I'm starting to think he didn't hide anything. Hey Fish, say, would you like it if I joined you on the farm someday? Would you like that? Nope. Are you friends with Sebastian too? Don't worry, he'll never lay a hand on you. I'll make sure of it. Oh wait, you're allowed to have friends, okay. Just a heads up, you might want to stay away from the big lake in Cindersop Forest for about a week or two. Oh, nothing. Just thought you might not like seeing a floating... corpse. Or smell it. <laughs> You're right, I wouldn't. All this man does is lie! It's nice to see you again. I've been thinking about you since yesterday night. I bet you didn't notice, though. Your room looked wonderful. Thanks! I, I put a lot of effort into my interior design, you know. I'm the only one for fish. There could be no one else. Why, why are we talking in third person here? Oh hey fish, how's it going? You have peripheral vision? Avoiding the question. Typical. And let's not forget about the marriage, folks. I mean, sure, I asked him, but only because I'm pretty sure Sam would hunt me down and end me if I held off any longer. I'm going to be really happy as your husband, Fish. So now I'm stuck in this toxic marriage, planning my escape route back to the city. I'm gonna go visit the family today. I'll check if Mom's made anything good. Want some? Or I can come home earlier and we can continue with what you started last night. Really? We get to finish our house in the Minecraft server? You might want to save some energy for tonight. I have a surprise for you. Uh, laser tag? Uh. Wow, a star drop. Gee, thanks, mister. You found a star drop. It's strange, but the taste reminds you of boundaries. Oh, so you realized your underwear's missing. Sorry, but I'm keeping it. Have you picked out something to wear to the flower dance yet? I bet you'll look amazing in anything, then. Oh, really? Fish, can you hold my hand for a second? I need to know that this is real and I'm not dreaming. I would have sacrificed everything for this life with you, but I didn't have to. 
Thank you, Fish. And thank you so much for watching. If you're looking for a good laugh or a reason to never play Stardew Valley again, go ahead and check out this mod. Comment down below the next Yondera you'd like to see. Until next time!